All right, everyone, thank you for joining. We're going to go ahead and get started. If you're having any issues with hearing me, let me know. But I'm going to uh, go ahead and mute all the lines unless you're able to mute yourself. Um, and then I will unmute them at the end for any questions. But feel free to type any in the chat box as we go through the presentation. So for today, we will be covering the new ePulse electric pump. Um, so thank you so much for joining us and giving some of your time on this Monday. And uh, we hope you guys have a great week and a great four. So we'll go ahead and get started. So my name is Tasha Weston. I'm the product marketing manager for pumps. My contact information is shown if you have any questions regarding marketing materials for this launch. I also have Duthi Cano with me. She is the associate product manager for pumps and she will be covering a lot of the content um, for the ePulse today. So for the agenda, we'll go through the uni unique selling points of the ePulse, key parameters of value, the, an overview of the interactive pendant and its features. We'll discuss the market and applications for this new edition, the product specs and the availability, and then the marketing materials. So if you have any questions, just type in the chat button throughout the presentation um, and we'll answer them at the end. And we will also unmute the lines as well if you have any questions. So now I'll pass it over to Duthi. Awesome. Thanks, Tasha. And thank you all for joining. So to kick it off with some of the unique selling points of the ePulse pump, it has high flow generation through a nearly constant motor horsepower, durable, rugged design, it can be run in horizontal or vertical position. It has an integrated roll cage design, interactive pendant control. It's convenient and easy to service. And it has integrated cooling, which is standard on the torque wrench pump. And also on the torque wrench pump, there's an auto complete feature um, by using the interactive pendant control. So overall, the main takeaway here is that increased speed of work, speed control, a rugged design, and ease of service is all in one package with the ePulse. So for the first key parameter value, we'll look at performance. As you can see with the flow chart below, it has increased speed of work across the pressure range, and smart controls enable the motor to maintain a nearly constant pressure across the pre or power across the pressure range. It also has higher flow overall than traditional 0.5 horsepower pumps and higher flow from 900 to 7,500 PSI than traditional one horsepower pumps. Another interesting feature is that there's adjustable motor speed control from 600 to 2,400 RPM on the IT pumps. So that enables more precise operation of the tool and gives it the capability to operate smaller tools that would typically require a smaller pump. And pictured here is a speed dial that is on the back of the IT pumps. So with the six piston design that provides even flow for the sm a smooth operation of the tool and the pump will continue to build pressure even if one or two pistons fail. So that enables completion of the job until the pump can be serviced. Along with this with performance, it has a 24 volt DC regulated power supply, which eliminates the effects of poor voltage on valve operation and it makes the pump less sensitive to generators and long extension cords. And low current draw minimizes circuit breaker chips, so that's 12 amps for the 120 volt and 7 amps for the 230 or 240 volt. And then there's also a wide operating voltage range, so 90 to 140 for the 120 volt, and then 170 to 260 for the 230 to 240 volt. And the unit can operate on its back if space is limited, as pictured here. Now to go into durability, it has a high efficiency permanent magnet direct drive motor, which enables continuous use and long service life. It has built in thermal protection. So the microprocessor temperature is less than 140 degrees Fahrenheit or 60 degrees Celsius. And the motor temperature is less than 140, 94 Fahrenheit or 90 degrees Celsius. The pump is IP rated 54 and the pendant 67. 
And on the torque wrench pump, there's an integrated heat exchanger, which is pictured on the bottom there. Um, and that's protected within the pump housing. And there's also a fan that's run by the smart controls when it's needed. So to take a look at the pump itself, the integrated roll protection you can see surrounds the pump um, in a pretty low profile way. So it's ensuring durability without increasing the footprint of the pump. It also has durable aluminum housing. The system components are all enclosed for protection. There's housing fins that provide heat dissipation and impact absorbing vibration dampening feet are at the base of the pump. And on the interior, you can see that there's a forged aluminum pump element for increased durability. It's a convenient pump as well. Um, it's equipped on the torque wrench pump with a four inch gauge with an Enerpack speedy coupler for quick disconnect. And um, the gauge is pre-calibrated and includes a certificate. There's also a highly visible oil level indicator and a no adjustment automatic breather. So it's not operator dependent to open and close. And there's a check valve that prevents leaks. Along with this, there's a user adjustable relief valve which is external on the torque wrench pump, which is shown on the top picture on the right. And then with the flathead screwdriver, you can adjust the UARV on the IT pump, which is pictured at the bottom. Um, there's also a pendant cord management system with a magnetic pendant that goes directly into the handle. So it's easy to, to know exactly where your pendant is. And you can also uh, fasten that onto your work surface if that's also a magnetic surface. Um, so it's a 10 foot pendant on the IT pumps and a 20 foot pendant on torque wrench pumps. So with ease of service, there's easy access to internal components for ease of service. There's for the manual and 3-2 dump valves, they're removable without removing the pump element. The bulkhead fittings are replaceable. So rather than replacing a damaged manifold, you can replace less expensive fittings. There's a convenient oil fill port, which is accessible with a 516th inch Allen wrench and draining oil is not required for pump element maintenance. You'll see in the next slide kind of how it looks once you dig into the interiors, just with the removal of a few screws, you can reach this uh, area and make it very easy to do any of the maintenance on the interior. And then there's also replaceable piston blocks. So on the bottom right, you can see that six piston um, ring and an individual piston is removed from there. So rather than replacing the entire ring, you can uh, go about that with the individual pistons. So as I had mentioned, it's very easy to access the internal components, which is two screws. You remove the carrying handle and you can open up the pump um, and you just use a four millimeter Allen wrench for that. And then one nut and six screws will remove the motor assembly. And then with three additional skew, screws, the uh, you can remove the pump and valve assemblies, and then you're already at the oil reservoir. And as you can see there, um, the oil reservoir is just contained at the bottom. So like mentioned before, draining oil is not required to service. So some options for future accessories. There's a tie down bracket, which will enable pump mounting to a work surface. Also a manifold mounting bracket gives the ability to mount an AM21 and AM41 split flow hydraulic manifold. And then a two wrench splitter kit is a factory installed option. Um, I'll show the product numbers at the end of this presentation, but just with the suffix of dash M, um, you can have that as a factory installed option. So that gives the ability to run two torque wrenches simultaneously. Um, and note that the intelligent auto cycle is not available when running two wrenches. So that leads us into the pendant overview. So an interactive pendant is available with all uh, valve options for this pump. It gives the operation programming and diagnostic status to the user with yellow, green and red LEDs along with vibration pulses. It, and then fault codes warn operators of any issues related to voltage, temperature, button malfunction, or if professional service is needed. And when the pump is plugged in, the user will see a solid green LED. So as mentioned, there's five valve options available and three different pendants that will work with those different options. So there's a torque wrench, 3-2 jog, 3-2 dump, and 4-3 jog and then also a 3-2 dump pendant. 
So starting with the 3-2 jog, 4-3 jog, and 3-2 dump functionality, the top button, it's a two button pendant. The top button um, is the jog function. So you'll press and hold it to turn the pump on and simply release it to turn the pump off. The bottom button is latched, so you'll press and release the bottom button to turn it on, and then you'll press it once again and release it to turn the pump off. And with this, there's up to a one second restart pause between turning the pump off and on again. With the dump and hold, the top button is a jog function, so press and hold the top button to turn it on and then release it to turn it off. And then the bottom button is the dump functionality. So press and hold the bottom button to dump system pressure. And again, there's up to a one second restart pause between turning the pump off and on again. And finally, with the torque wrench pump pendant, the functionality is the same as the XCTW, which we recently launched, except for the IntelliJet Auto Cycle feature with this. So um, you press and release instead of holding the button. And this has a really exciting feature of autocomplete, which notifies the user when a nut is at set pressure and no longer moving. So this increases fastening speed. The pump recognizes when it's at the end of a wrench advance versus going to set pressure. And then retraction and the next advance can begin sooner. So this reduces cycle time and it reduces damage to pump components from unnecessary pressure spikes and cycles. And also it reduces heat generation because the pump is not going to the set pressure in every cycle and heat buildup is then reduced. So with the torque wrench pump pendant, you have the option of intelligent auto cycle between 1000 and 10,000 PSI stored pressure. And um, to use this, you'll press and release the yellow button to auto advance and retract. And then when torque is reached, you'll feel three vibration pulses and see alternating green and yellow LED blinks three times. And if you press any button, it'll end intelligent auto cycle. And intelligent auto cycle will work normally if the relief valve pressure setting is higher than the stored pressure setting. Some other functionality to note is with auto dump, anytime the pump is turned off, the valve will dump trapped pressure to tank and to dump system pressure to tank on your own, you'll press and hold the red button, then press and hold the green button. The pendant also gives vis visibility to some fault codes. So uh, it could be related to high or low voltage motor controller fault, whether the pump requires service, Service centers can access diagnostic mode for more detailed descriptions of other fault co codes or uh, pump status, and then uh, button fault or over temperature fault. So market and applications here, the e-pulse can be applied to a lot of different areas because of both of it, its IT capabilities or the torque wrench capabilities. So um, anything from oil and gas, power generation, production and MRO, mining, construction, rail, aerospace and testing, and then applications like lifting, bolting, spreading, cutting, pulling, crimping, pressing, bending, punching. And I'm sure you'll all find other opportunities as well in these areas. So to take a look at Enerpac's current electric pump portfolio and the PU pump, um, this slide gives an overview of when it makes sense to sell the ePulse over some of the other IT pumps. So if a customer is looking for more flow or speed, if they're looking for more continuous duty, if they don't want the weight of a ZU or a ZE, or if they're looking for more precise operation, the ePulse has that speed control option. So there is an opportunity to use it with a variety of tools and uh, guarantee that more precise operation with those. Here's a look at the bottle numbers. There's five valve types, as we mentioned before. Um, and at the bottom there, that um, manifold um, suffix, that's the, the accessory that we had mentioned before as well. These are the specifications. This will be available in our marketing materials. And that leads us to Tasha will walk us through some of the marketing materials that are available. All right, thank you, Duthi. So 
there's a lot of marketing materials available for this ePulse launch. We have multiple technical brochures. We have one for the IT version and one for the Torque Wrench version. We also have a commercial brochure that really dives into the unique features of this pump. So just something else you can bring to a customer that's a little bit more feature oriented. We have instruction sheets and repair part sheets. We have a cell sheet, as you can see, pictured that goes over the features and benefits, um, the applications, when to sell it, and also with a competitive comparison. Um, we also created a YouTube video that is live right now that you can access. So you can see the pump in action, you can see the variable flow, and you can also see it operating on its side. And it just goes into the different features as well. So it's something you can easily share with a customer or with your team to get a little bit more information on the pump. And then lastly, we have a distributor marketing package available to you that has these materials as well as different images of the different pumps with different valve options, banners, as you can see one pictured below, and some cut and paste copy that you can easily use for your own marketing materials. So just to keep reminding you, this is all available at the link below. This will have all of the recent launches, as well as previous launches, as well as upcoming launches. So you can see all the marketing materials in one spot. And we also wanted to use this as an opportunity to bring up a recent launch that we've had on the XC1302S. It's the newest addition to our XC battery pump line. And the main update here is that there's a dump and hold valve functionality. And there's also pendant control um, with LED and haptic feedback, really similar to the pendants that we presented on today. The pump also has two 28 volt, three amp hour lithium ion batteries, a bladder reservoir, and is available with a roll cage accessory. Here's a look at the model numbers for this pump. Um, it's available with uh, different vo charger voltages and then it also can be sold without batteries. And then with the marketing materials here, Tasha can walk us through that real quick again. Yep, so this was just a light launch. That's why we combined it with the e this ePulse training. So it's very similar materials. The technical brochure is really just an updated XC brochure to go to add these additional SKUs. And it has the IS, RPS, and there's also the full training PowerPoint is um, on that marketing page. So you can go into a little bit more detail. But like I said, it's a pretty light launch. And then there's also the product bulletin that can be distributed as well, and that's all available in the distributor marketing package at the link below. So with that, I'm going to um, unmute the lines and feel free to um, ask any questions within chat or you can use your audio because now everyone is unmuted. So are there any questions today? All right, are there any questions today? If not, um, you have our contact information and we'll be sending out the recording of this video as well. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Thank you.